just received an invitation for an interview and I'm so nervous. I have no idea how to prepare. First of all, congratulations. Your qualifications and experiences have piqued the employer's interest and they want to learn more about you. I've been through a few interviews myself and I know a few things about how to prepare. Let me help you out. The first step I take is to do research on the company. I would make sure I know the company's missions, product or services and culture. This will not only help understand what the employer is looking for in an employee, but it also helps with some talking points during the interview. I would also make sure to read the job description to take note of all the essential skills, experiences and qualities the employer is looking for. This can be done by reviewing the company's website and social media channels. Next, I find it helpful to practice answering some commonly asked interview questions. This might include questions like, tell me about yourself, or why do you want to work for this company, or what are your strengths and weaknesses. A list of commonly asked questions on the interview can be found online with a quick search on the internet. I, I recommend preparing for sample answers to some of these questions. It is also a great idea to do a mock interview with someone to get some practice. Would you like me to show you how I answer questions in my interviews? That sounds like a great idea. I would love that. The STAR framework is one of the common methods for answering behavioral interview questions. STAR is an acronym that stands for Situation, Task, Action, Results, and Relevance. It's a structure that helps you to provide clear, concise, and organized answers to behavioral interview questions. Here is an example of how I would use the STAR method to answer the interview question, Give you an example of a time you had to solve a difficult problem at work. Using the STAR method, I would say, one example of a difficult problem I had to solve at my previous job was when our team was working on a tight deadline to launch a new product. We encountered unexpected technical issues that were delaying the launch. My team was to find the solution to the technical issues as quickly as possible to meet the deadline for the product launch. I worked closely with the development team to troubleshoot the problems and I identified the root cause of the issues. Then I developed a plan of action to resolve them, which included updating some software and adjusting the product design. Thanks to my efforts, we were able to launch the product on time and I received positive feedback from the customers. This experience taught me the importance of taking initiative when challenges arise and I believe that this skill will be a valuable skill in the analyst position that I'm interviewing for. That was really good. Thank you so much. One day before the interview, I like to make sure I have copies of my resume, references and any other documents the company might have requested for. Also, sleeping for around eight hours the night before the interview helps me feel well rested and relaxed on the day of the interview. Then I would make sure I dress professional and put together. On the day of the interview, I try to make a good first impression by greeting the interviewer with a smile and a firm handshake. I also try to maintain a good posture and eye contact as much as possible throughout the interview. When I'm speaking, I try my best to slow down and speak clearly. It is quite common to talk quickly when nervous and going too fast makes it easier to go off track and even forget what was asked in the first place. Throughout the interview, I find it helpful to remind myself that the interview was also an opportunity for me to learn about the role and the organization. So I make sure to ask questions when prompted at the end of the interview. I would prepare a list of questions that will deepen my understanding of the role, the organization, self, or the professional development of my interviewers. Within 24 hours of the interview, I would write a thank you email to the interviewer to thank them for their time, re-express my interest in the role and company, and reaffirm how I think my background and skills will be a good fit. I will make sure to do all of that. Thank you so much for your help, and I feel a lot more prepared now.